Hi, Prince UK Self Defence Green here, and welcome. Today I'm covering two exercises and a skip movement for the martial artists. Now, this exercise I'm going to show you today, there are two components, they're called compound exercises, so in other words, they work a lot of muscle tissue, connective tissue, in one go. It is the press up and it is a squat. One is called the prisoner press up, and I'm going to show you how to do that properly. This is an amazing exercise and the squat. If you're not into fitness or if you are into fitness, if you concentrate purely on these two exercises in a high intensity interval fashion, in other words, you do three reps, five reps, 10 or 15 or whatever you choose, and you have a specific time rest in between, then you do another set, then a rest and a set, your strength, your flexibility, uh, your explosive power and your cardiovascular system will all benefit. Okay, the first exercise is the press-up. So I'll go down into the position and I'll show you in different areas. Now, if you've been passed by your doctor, okay, and you're a beginner, you do this position, right? Notice my arms are shoulder width apart, my legs are together, I'm keeping my stomach nice and taut, so I'm in a semi-prone position, okay? And my arms are close to my side. Now, I'll show you from the front. That is the position, okay? Now, when I breathe, I breathe in as I go down. So, and I breathe out as I explode. I'll show you that from the front. Now, if you're fitter, you do it this way. You know this from the plant, plank exercise. Arms close, taut, stomach, Lumbar region, closed chain exercise, and that is how you do a prisoner press up. Second, the squat. Another compound exercise works with quadriceps, the hams, the glutes. Fantastic. And the thing is with these exercises, because they're compound and they work a lot of muscle tissue, you get benefits from your endocrine system, which is the hormonal system. But that's for a different discussion. Okay, the squat. From the side, stand up straight, legs shoulder width apart, okay, toes pointing forward. Hands across the chest, head up, chin facing forward, and breathe in. Squeezing the glutes as you come up. From the front. Shoulder width apart. One more. If you're doing those alternative, one then the other, with say 10 reps for the press up, 10 reps for the squat, and then take in 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute's rest in between, then starting again. Try and work up from maybe two sets to 10 sets. That's the sweet spot. Second, I've been asked by a lot of martial artists, on my previous video, I showed how to do quite a vicious uh, roundhouse kick. Now, I show that kick in three different planes. I show it from a standard position, so he's coming at you. I show it from a position where you're sturdy, you can't really move, and so you, you throw a roundhouse kick in this position, facing somebody. And I also show you from this position, okay, where somebody's come at you, and you lead off, and you hit them in the head. Now, this specific lead kick is from Bruce Lee. Now, I had to look at many, many hours of video footage and I finally found what I was after, and it shows what Bruce did, and I've been practicing this for so long now, and it's vitally important if you want to get that extra torque into this kick. Now, Bruce, when he gets ready to throw this kick in the movies, he does this, right? He does this, okay? He's getting his line of vision, okay? And he's making, getting this, this neurological pathway in his brain so he knows where the kick's gonna go. Now, when you throw this kick, we all know that you raise your hip, you bring your knee up, and you twist, okay, right? That is to get your power. But your torque comes from using your arms, okay? So not only are you using a, a faint exercise, but you're also bringing this extra to bring in the torque. <clears throat> so, I'll show you <clears throat> what we're doing. What Bruce did was this. He goes, you see? He skips. It's that small skip that allows you to get the kick fast. 
You see that? Okay, so when you're used to doing this, are you moving around? It's that little, and that is what will allow you to kick head height, temple kick at amazing speed and accuracy. Hope you like it. Subscribe at the bottom. See you soon. UKC.